A consistent early game is one of the biggest factors separating the average players from the pros. It can really seem difficult or even just short of impossible to be consistent in early game with how prevalent RNG is. But I'm here to tell you, you can win every early game. Seriously, in this video, we'll be giving you guys some of the most important tips and secrets to land first in early game so you can play more consistent and perform better in your matches. Let's get into it. Before anything else, one of the biggest factors in a good early game is having a consistent drop spot that you're comfortable at. Now, we've gone over finding the perfect drop spot in the past, but essentially just go for a spot that has good loot, materials, rotations, and a spot that you're comfortable with overall. Once you figure out the actual area you'd like to land at, whether it's a full POI or an unnamed spot that's less contested, figure out a loot route as in a full route you can take every game to get the maximum amount of loot possible. We don't want to get too much into loot routes in this video, but if you're confused or want to get a bit of extra information about them, then feel free to check out our other videos about drop spots for that. Overall, finding a good drop spot that you're comfortable with is incredibly important in Fortnite, whether you're a casual or competitive player, and it should definitely be one of your first priorities if you're trying to work on your early game and become more consistent. The second thing I'd like to mention to you all is in-air awareness. For some reason, a lot of you guys have this strange tendency to not pay any attention to your game until you actually hit the ground. But in reality, the time before you even drop is potentially the most important part of your early game. And many of you are, in fact, completely wasting it. The truth is, before you land, you're able to figure out where each of your opponents are landing, how much area you have to yourself, your best routes to disengage, and more. Knowing what your opponent's plans are ahead of time is incredibly important for performing better in early game, and ultimately, outplaying them all and coming out alive. I know you wanna get number one, dude. Come on, pay attention. So next time you're up in the air, take a few seconds to analyze your surroundings and figure out what your opponents are doing. It may seem like a small thing, but if you can gather this information early, it can and likely will make a massive difference in your early game performance. Third up, guys, we've got one that sort of goes hand in hand with your in-air awareness, and that's cutting off your opponent's loot routes in early game. Cutting off your opponent's loot routes is one of the easiest ways to perform better as you're able to catch them off guard early on and really get the jump on them. Now, this tip really goes hand in hand with in-air awareness, and you can't have one without the other. Having in-air awareness allows you to figure out where each opponent is dropping and thus predict where they're gonna go after their initial loot area. If you can predict their next move, you can get one step ahead of them, potentially get a beam or surprise attack, and clean them up early in the game with much less risk compared to if you just have a run-of-the-mill fight. Let's run an example here. Let's say that you're in Holly Hedges. You land at the middle store and your opponent lands at the southernmost house. In this situation, they really don't have any safe routes except for toward the other two houses near them. So if you cut off your looting a tad bit early and set up near one of those two houses, chances are you can catch them while they rotate towards those houses and get an easy beam, which should either result in a quick kill or allow you to start pushing and ultimately get the kill in a box fight. You can, quite obviously, adjust this to your drop spot though and use different strategies depending on the situation you run into. But before we get into this final tip, which is actually such a good one, make sure to go book your coach on ProGuides.com once you finish up this video, so you can get all your questions answered and find some other great methods to improve at the game. Alrighty, gather here, gather around. If you have made it this far in the video, I've got another secret to show you guys. Seriously. This is absolutely revolutionary. My bro GW would agree, George Washington. If you haven't heard of Copilot before, it's essentially an app that allows you to calculate the exact point in time when you should jump out of the bus, along with the exact point where you should open your glider to get an absolutely perfect landing at wherever you want to go. To put it simply, Copilot essentially has an elevation API, which they use to calculate how high up your landing spot is and where you can open your glider to not only open it over a low area, but also an area where you'll land precisely where you want to. 
It seems a bit odd, and you might even think it's overrated or doesn't even work. But I am completely serious when I say it is one of the most revolutionary tools for Fortnite in recent seasons. Essentially, whenever you start up a match in Fortnite, you'll head onto the website at lantingtutorial.com and let it load up. From there, use the little handles on your bus route to adjust it to exactly where the bus is going. You can also use the little rotate button near the middle of the bus route if you want to flip the direction of it as well. From there, all you have to do is simply zoom in and plug in to the exact spot you want to land at. Try to get close to or even on your exact landing spot and finally click the find best drop button on the bottom and let the app do its magic. After a few seconds of loading, the app will present you with a few things. First, you'll see a big red dot on your bus route. This is the point where you'll want to actually jump out of the bus. From there, you'll see a little marker with a parachute over it. This represents the point where you should try and open your glider. Assuming you jump from the bus correctly and open your glider there, you should have an absolutely perfect drop to your landing spot and you should be the first to hit the ground. So overall, using this app allows you to avoid scuff drops, get in and loot up first, and minimize those 50-50 situations, and allows you much more potential to cut off your opponent's loot routes and win your drop spot. And we're all trying to get that W. So let's do a quick example run just to make everything clear. First, we'll load up into a solo match. Once we load in, we'll take a loot at our bus path, plug that in on the website, and then mark our drop spot, which should be around this area. As you can see, we press the button and our directions pop up. So we jump out of the bus here, open our gliders at this point, and boom shakalaka, perfect drop, just like that. So next time you're loading into a game, especially if you're a competitive player, try out this landing calculator and see how it goes. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's early game video. As a recap, we discussed multiple early game strategies, which included finding a consistent and high quality drop spot, staying aware of your surroundings and making plans as you glide in, and trying to cut off your opponent's loot routes to slow them down, and possibly even eliminate them during the early game. And for our final tip, we checked out the Copilot landing app, which essentially allows you to get a perfect glide into your drop spot using an elevation API. If you haven't tried that one out yet, then you're missing out, and you should probably start using it. Overall, if you use these tips for your early game, you should start seeing a lot more consistency and dropping in first shouldn't be much of an issue anymore. If you enjoyed today's video, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to slap a like on it. And if you'd like to see more content just like this, make sure to subscribe. We're pushing closer and closer to 1 million subscribers and every single one helps. And if you're feeling extra motivated today and wanna to take some extra steps to improve, don't forget to go book your coach over at ProGuides.com and take that next step on your journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.